All right. Hey, YouTube. Um, recording a couple of videos. It's uh, January 1st, 2024. Around uh, about 12.30 in the morning. And uh, this video is just something that's kind of been eating at me uh, the last couple of days. Uh, I've been seeing these uh, reels on Facebook and stuff where this is definitely for the Christians watching. If you're not a Christian, you need to look into it. Uh, it's definitely good for you. But anyways, uh, the, video, the reels were talking about how we weren't given the book of Revelations so that we stockpile food and put a bunker in the backyard uh, but so that we invite people to the table build bigger tables to talk to people about Jesus and uh, it, it's eaten at me for the same reason a lot of different things in Christianity and what most people know is Christianity and the world just around me in general uh, tend to bother me because it's so incomplete because it's not it's not this or that, it's both and. So we were given the book of Revelations to show how the world ends, how things end, to help give urgency to our mission to disciple, to our mission to go out and tell people about Jesus and what he did for us on the cross and how much he loves us and how much God loves us and all this all this that is laid out in the Bible that is so important. But it's also a warning, same as Pharaoh's dreams that uh, Joseph interpreted of the seven years of plenty followed by the seven years of famine. If we read and we do this properly, then the response is an urgency to disciple and to tell people about God as well as be prepared for whatever happens. Because we already know we live in a fallen world. We know we live in a place with natural disasters, with uh, death and destruction and war already happening. Why would we not want to do what we can to provide a safe place with provisions for them? Because that way, bringing people to the table and being able to protect and provide for people doesn't end when things get bad. It intensifies because we are in a position to bless. We're not waiting on government or somebody else to provide. We have the wisdom given to us by our Father, by God, to put things aside and be ready for when the bad times come so that my family will be safe and provided for, so that I can go out and provide and protect for others as well. And I can be God's hands and feet in the world, not because, not because I am good, not because I am amazing, but because God told me what's to come, showed me what to do, and so I did it. And so if we do that as believers and we put our faith in the Father, not in our preps, not in anything else, but we do as he instructs, when he instructs, it allows us to continue doing the mission, the Great Commission, without ever stopping. Persecution will get bad. Everything's going to get bad. There's going to be famine, wars, all this other kind of stuff. We know that. It's in the book. And we won't have to skip a beat on being God's hands and feet. It's, no matter how this goes, it's going to be bad. It's going to be hard. So even if I am facing persecution for being a believer, I'm not going to stop being God's hands and feet. I can't. So I can't add on top of that, knowing that these situations are going to come, not being prepared, not having food and water and the ability to defend life, medically, weapons, all that kind of stuff. I can't not do those things because God has showed me the necessity of those things. Um, 
Yeah. That's where I'm going to cut it here, guys. It's just a quick little video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, trying to grow the channel, trying to uh, be more consistent with this. If y'all want to support the channel, there is an affiliate link for Barrel. <clears throat> they have great deals on ammunition, firearms, that kind of thing. I'm a gun guy. Love guns. Love shooting. Uh, it's both a hobby and it's a huge part of my preparedness and the way uh, God created me. So, yeah, if, you, if you'd like to support what I'm doing here and help me produce more content, just click that link and shop through there. I'm sure you'll find a great deal on something. Uh, I picked up a weapon light from them for 50 bucks. I love it. It's a great weapon light. Uh, it's, it's a nightstick. It's a nightstick weapon light. I would typically run the uh, stream lights because they're one of the better uh, budget options. But yeah, I got that 1200 lumen light for 50 bucks. Could not be happier with it. Uh, haven't really put it through its paces yet. It's on a backup gun. So there's that. But anyways, God bless you. I pray that this is an amazing year that God opens doors for you that you've been asking for and comes through in ways that you never thought that he would just make his name great in all of y'all's lives. In Jesus' name, peace.